Fabulosity for you and my name is Angie. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please click the subscribe button, then click the notification bell so when I upload videos, you'll be the first to know. Like this video and make a comment. This channel is about fashion, relationship advice, and lifestyle. And if this is not your first time visiting my channel, well, welcome back, my queens, and welcome to the kings out there. Okay, so you know what day it is. It's Ratchet Wednesday. It's Ratchet Wednesday. All right. Today is the day that I do the review of the 90 day The Single Life. Season 4, Episode 4. Debbie Tells a Lie. So before we get started, go get your drink of choice. Go get your snack of choice. And come back and sit with your girl, Angie, and listen to the review. Text, email, call, stick a letter in a bottle, baby, and let everybody know that Angie is on the line and she's about to do her review. So let's begin. Okay, guys, so the single life opens up with Debbie, Miss Debbie. Starts talking with her son, Julian, who happens to be a police officer. And before he goes to work, he's taking his mom to the store. So while they're in the car, she tells him that she met a man. And his name is Russ, and she met him online. And he asks her if he can get... His full name, because you know he was going to look him up. And she was like, oh, hell no. So, Julian asked her mom, his mom, if Osama is still calling her. And she was like, he's still calling. And he's like, you know, there's a such thing as a, a block, right? And I said that last week. I don't understand why she keeps blocking him. She probably, feel, she probably feels good to just know that he's still calling her. I don't know. But he's afraid that his mom is going to fall back into the same trap and believe in what these guys say and end up in the same situation she was with Osama. But he says, you know, hey, what can he do? So she says, Russ is 60 years old and they've been talking on the phone for a few weeks. And now he wants to meet her in person. She confesses to her son that she told him that she was 57. And she felt bad about it because she really don't believe in lying. But she says, son, who's going to love Miss Debbie? And she's 67 years old. I could get nobody to want to go out with me. So I did what I did and I lied. But I feel really bad about it. So, later on that day, she's with her girlfriend. Her girlfriend comes to her house, and they're sitting in her bedroom, and she's trying to prepare for her date. So, she says, hey, let's play dress up. So, she shows up this outfit that was sequenced <laughs> and a velvet jacket. And she said, I was going to wear this, but I don't want him to feel intimidated. So, everybody knows that Sequence is dressy. So, girl, where he taking you that you would think you would wear that? And that's what her friend said. Well, where is he taking you? And so, she said, he's taking me to play miniature golf. And so, she, her friend was looking like, well, you know damn well that outfit is not the right outfit. Miss Debbie, go, you need to go back in your closet. You need to go back in your closet and find another outfit. So she says, so I decided to wear this outfit. And it was like this silver outfit. And it had a silver leather jacket, a silver dress, a silver scarf. And so her friend was like, this is better than that sequence. So she was like, well, how do you feel about the outfit? And she said, I, I, and this outfit makes me feel good. So she said, well, if it makes you feel good, then that's the right outfit. So she gets dressed and she calls the Uber. And she gets out the car in front of the place. 
The man is, Russ is waiting for her. And she has these silver combat boots. So she's all silver with a silver dress, as I said, and a leather, a leather jacket. So he says, oh, wow. Wow, I like your combat boots. But all the while, let me rewind. All, all the while on the way to the golfing place, the miniature golfing place, she says, I just hope this man gets me. Nobody gets Miss Debbie. So she felt good when Russ gave her a compliment about her shoes. So they get into this miniature golf place. And it was like it was a dress. It was like for Halloween. They had scary pit faces and animals. And so Miss Debbie makes a comment. She said, Oh, he looks like my ex boyfriend. And they both shared a laugh. And they're just having a good time. And then she says, I need to pull you to the side. And I need to tell you something so he's looking like oh my god what is this woman about to say and he said go ahead well i sat total lie to you i'm not 57 years old i'm 67 now i'm saying to myself girl that man can look at you and say and tell that you are not 57 if anything you look 77 <laughs> <laughs> that killed me because I'm like, girl, girl, when you came through that, when that man saw you get out of that Uber, he knew damn well you had lied, okay? So he just looked at her and he was being a gentleman. He was like, well, that's okay. I understand. She Straight face. So the date, I guess, was going well. And he asked her, would you like to go out for a drink? And she was like, sure. So they're having a drink and they're talking. And she says, do you know how old the guy I was dating before you? And he was looking at her like, no. And she was like, he was 24. And so he wasn't ready for that one. He had this real tri tripped out look on his face like, okay, so, <laughs> so you a freak. <laughs> and so she said, he said, oh, really? Yeah, he was 24, but I'm done with that. That's in the past. I don't want anybody young anymore. He, I thought I was going to move with him and stay there, but it, that was not the case. He changed when I got over there. And girl, Miss Debbie. You gave too much information. That man don't care nothing about that. That's nothing you should have told. My queens and kings out there. When you're on the first date, don't run your whole business about what happened in your first relationship. It's not appropriate. It's not appropriate. You wait to a later date. Not on the first date. So, after that, he was like, well, hey, it, you know, I guess it's time to go. We finished our drinks. And she was like, Okay, but I really enjoyed you. I enjoyed our time together. I had fun. You think we could do this again? He he was been he was a, a very nice. He was a gentleman because he was like you know what? Why not? He know doggone well he not gonna see Miss Debbie no more, and Miss Debbie should know she's not gonna see him again. But he was very polite, and I liked that he was a gentleman. So we have to see what happens with Miss Debbie next week. Next, we're going to go into Natalie. Natalie and her mom, they're in the new apartment. And they're happy. Natalie's super happy. And she was like, I am so happy that Josh was able to get us this apartment so josh says that he was able to talk with the landlord and he explained natalie's situation and offered money extra money and for the security so he just gave the man one lump sum and they were good with that and he was happy with that because he was not gonna be no guarantor he was like last week i don't know you like that 
that's not going to happen. So I'm glad it worked out where he was able to get Natalie this place. It's a, it's a nice apartment. It's right down the street from the beach. It's in a good neighborhood. And he says it's not far from his house. So going back to Natalie and her mother, Natalie and her mother are really happy. The, the apartment is furnished. And Mama was going around looking at everything, touching, touching all the things around the house. And they looked out and enjoyed the view of the house. They can see the beach. And so Natalie was, she was like, Josh, Josh was so nice to give us this place. I told you Josh would come through. Josh, oh, Josh, mama. And mama was looking at her like, hey, where can we, uh, you think we can invite Michael over here? And honey, that smile <laughs> stuck on Natalie's face. And she was looking at her mama like she was a fool. And she was like, in confessional, she was like, I just hope that Josh, it's important to Josh to make a, a, a good impression on my mother because of how he treated us at the airport. He needs to shine with my mother so that I think later on down the line, she's going to like Josh and she won't be thinking of Michael. Let me tell you something about my, Natalie's mother. Natalie's mother <laughs> is not a fool. She raised the fool because she know who Josh is, okay? She know what kind of man Josh is. Josh is not trying to be, in my opinion, all wrapped up into Natalie. Natalie is wrapped up into Josh. So, later on that day, Josh is waiting at this restaurant. It had lobster tails lined up at this restaurant, so it looked like it was a fine restaurant. They come in... And he's like smiling. And he was like, oh my God, I'm so happy to meet you. And he hugs her. And he, he said, oh my God, you're so beautiful. He's telling Nelly Mama that. Nelly Mama was like, honey, the, the, them compliments is not going to work over here. I want to know what happened to you at the airport. So the mother started talking. Josh started talking and Josh is telling Natalie, you need to translate for me. Natalie was not translating everything her mother was saying. Natalie was trans translating what she wanted to be said. So he asked Natalie to ask her, tell me something about Natalie that I wouldn't know. And that's interesting. And Natalie says, he wants to know when I was a child in, in the elementary school, tell him something. And she goes, well, naturally, she started the the plays at 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 this grammar school, and she started up the drama club, and and he was he she translated that he was like, listen, I'm not. Even he was basically saying, I'm not trying to hear that. I mean, was she was she a good girl? Was she sweet? Was she what was she as a child? And so. Natalie was like, oh, she said I was the I was the best. But actually, her mother said she was a good child until she got grew up a little bit. And then she <laughs> she was kind of like a complainer. And she, of course, left that part out. So she was just saying what she wanted to say. And then she said that her mother also said she needs me to be with somebody that's reliable, Josh. That's reliable. And then she said, what happened? The mother says, what happened? At the airport. And he was like, I am so... I, listen, I just couldn't make it. I'm sorry I wasn't able to pick you guys up. Things happen. In so, in so many words. And my thing is, like I said last week, Josh could have got his friend. He could have got his friends to come pick them up. So... They are at the restaurant, and he's just giving compliment after compliment. And Natalie is like, I hope that Josh does not disappoint me or my mother, because if he does, I am done. That will be the end of us. So we just have to wait till next week to see what happens next with Josh and Natalie and her mother. Natalie. And her mother. Next, we're going to go to John. John is 39 years old. He's from Las Vegas. He was on the 90 Day Fiance. And 
he was with his brother and his brother had married had got married and had a baby and so because he got married and had a baby he had to move out because they were roommates and now he lives in las vegas with his younger brother and his partner so john says he's laid back he's a procrastinator he has been slapped many times in the face and he has been only had three girlfriends in his life and one fiance he said that he has been a partier and he considers himself a professional single man but he met somebody and so the scene opens up with him and he's in the kitchen with his his brother and his wife and his and their baby which is his niece and he's holding the baby and his brother asked him do you ever want a baby he was like don't think so no why not he was like i like to do what i want i like to go wherever he said i like to go wherever i want i want to don't have to have no responsibility of a child and I'm, i just never wanted a child and that's okay it's a lot of people that didn't want any children and so he said but i'm gonna go out back out and visit my girl megan he said oh wow how long you been talking with her he was like it's been about five months and he was like no uh, -uh you just been smashing he said no this is my girlfriend and so his wife was like i think he's telling the truth because on social media he has in a relationship and so he said no and he said no no i am in a relationship i've been single for three years i'm ready to get back into it i want a relationship i've i've done enough partying with women i'm ready to settle down and his brother couldn't believe it. His brother said, I don't believe it until I see it. And he said, well, I'm going back out there. And so he talks about his girlfriend, Megan. And he said that him and Megan, they've been dating for about five months. The only thing about Megan he's afraid of is that she has a child. She has a, a, a daughter. But he says he's falling in love with her. She's a beautiful girl. He went out there. They had a lot of chemistry. They laid up in the bed most of the time. They had a lot in common. She had a similar personality as he. And he just enjoyed being with Natalie. I'm sorry, being with Megan. And he's going to go back out there and visit. But his brother just refused to believe. So meanwhile, he goes back to, to his brother's house, his younger brother's house, and, and his partner. And they ask him, does Megan know that you are living out of a suitcase because you were supposed to be gone. You're only supposed to be here for a few months. And now it's five months or six months. And so he was like, no, she doesn't know. And they said, well, how are you going to be serious with her if you don't want any children? And he said, well, I'm figuring that out. But I think I really like, I like her enough and I'm falling in love with her. I want to see where this thing goes. Perhaps she's going to make me a better person. But right now, I feel like I'm ready to settle down. And so everybody does not believe that John wants to settle down. But we just have to wait and see. But I like John. The thing is, why should John have to do anything, have an apartment, when his brothers are letting him stay there and they're staying there for free? So as long as his family is being... You know, being there for him like that, he's, to me, taking advantage of situations. They should just put his behind out, give him a dead lag, and put him out, and either he gonna sink or swim. He has, I don't know if, I believe he has a job, so he needs to get it together with his life, but I do like like him a lot. So next, we're gonna go over to Chantel. So Chantel starts off they're outside by the pool, and she said this is her third day in Greece. She comes out in some booty mama shorts. That's what her girlfriend says, some booty mama shorts. And she has on a hot pink bikini, a hot pink hat, and she looks 
hot. So she gets out there shaking it up, honey. She been shaking it like a salt shaker, baby, out in Greece. Talking about the guy she met, Yanis. And I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. And so she's saying how hot Yanis is and that she can't wait to see him again and how they just vibe and connect and he's somebody that she could really like. So her friend Mooney was like, Mooney was like, well, are you going to ask him for a date? And so she, the other friend was like, wow, you didn't hear about the invitation? He invited Chantel to out to, to his homeland, home city, which is on the other side of the island. And so they was like, oh, really? And, and they said, but the only bad thing is it's a four-hour drive. And the friends didn't want to go. They were like, we're supposed to be staying on the resort, and you mean people on the resort. And she was like, but this might be a love. This could be my love. And they was like, oh, well, I guess that's why we're here to be there for Chantel. So they all agreed to go. But my thing is, it's no way I would have went. She don't know this man. I would have said, no, you need to come and visit me. Ain't no way where I would have inconvenienced myself and have to go four hours away and I'm on a week's vacation. He should have came to her, but he said he wants her to see how he lives so she can really get to know him. But, baby, it wouldn't have been <laughs> me coming to see him. No, and I don't really know you. I wouldn't have done it. But nonetheless, later, nonetheless, later that day, they jump into the car service. And they're driving. And they're talking. And anyway, they say, is this man a Greek salad? Now, you guys know that they had talked about a cucumber when it first, when this show started. And so Chantel says a Greek salad is a man that has a career, he has character, and he has a cucumber. So when he, so, so we know what the cucumber means, okay? The big D. And so they say he has all of that. He's probably all of that. He's probably a Greek salad. So they just talking garbage on the way to the, into Yannis City. So, they asked the driver how long now do they have. They said, we have an hour, so they're not going to have time to stop somewhere for her to change. So, she's like, hey, let's just change in the car. And they was like, the car? Let's just change in the car. And so, that she changes the put a towel or something over the windows and she changes into this hot pink dress and then she they grab her hair and, and comb her hair the guy that's Muli her her um friend that does her hair Muli is her friend that does the makeup and honey by the time they got finished with her face she looked like a clown how can you do that put makeup on while you're driving while you're in a car I don't know so she still kind of look a hot mess, but we have to see what happens next week, how she turns out after she gets out the car. So we have to see what happens with Johnny's and Chantel. Okay, so next, last but not least, is Tim. So Tim... talking with his friend Veronica and he said she's saying you need to get back on the horse I'm glad you got this date she's beautiful you've been out out of touch for six months you haven't had a woman you need to get on back on the saddle you better jump back on the saddle so he said that he is like really looking forward for the date he's getting dressed he feels good about it he thinks that she's beautiful. And he feels that she's special. And so he's really excited. He likes dating Latino women because he said they're more, they're very feminine. So he gets out his ride, honey. And honey, he had a bad, a bad Maserati. I'm like, what? Beautiful color. Tim got it going on with, with his pockets. 
Okay, so he gets out the car and they're going to go play some cro croquet. And she's looking beautiful. Beautiful and they smiling. And she says that she really likes him, that he's handsome. And so they're playing croquet and he says, name five things about you and so she said i'm super affectionate so that caught him right there he said give me an example she said well i like to hold hands and i like to kiss let me show you and he was like whoa 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 uh my forehead is too wet too 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 sweaty for that so we're not gonna do that plus i like to take things slow i'm a southern man and i like to take my time and to get into all of that and so, you know, she looked kind of disappointed because who really going to turn Louisa down? Don't nobody turn Louisa down. She's not getting used to turn down for a kiss. He act like she's trying to jump in the bed. I don't know about Timmy, Tim. I don't know about Tim turning down a kiss. That's just, uh, I don't know. So he says, on, on a, what do you rate our date? And she says a five. He said, a five? Why? She said, it's just a five. And so he said, well, how can I make it better? She said, talk to me, say something in Spanish. And so he asked her for a date in Spanish. So I don't know how it's going to go. I know she did say she liked him, but she did seem kind of disappointed when he didn't want to give her a kiss. So we just have to wait and see. Does Tim ever give her a kiss? <laughs> Will this work out? We won't know till next week. So that's all I have today. I hope you enjoyed my review and thank you for watching my channel.